want to talk about homosexuality in the Bible? I, 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 I assume you know your Bible, correct? Okay. You made the claim that, that lesbianism, homosexuality isn't the Bible, right? It's actually not. The Bible, homosexuality, and the gospel were just some of the main topics of a heated debate today just outside the university union. About 60 students gathered around one man who shouted and said that he was preaching the word of God. What I wanted to do, and what I want to do, is I want to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, hold on, I'm finished. You know the answer. That's it. Many of the students who circled the speaker shouted back, but not all disagreed. I noticed you have a Bible in your hand. Oh, yeah. Why do you have your Bible today? Uh, actually, my Bible's in my backpack. I read my Bible. Today. I was just, I wasn't reading my Bible today, but I'm reading something Bible related, and I saw this, and you're talking about homosexuality and saying it's not in the Bible. So I'm just trying to find the verse in the Bible where it says that, so I give to him and help him out. Narrow-minded, hatred, and dogmatic were just some of the words spat back to the speaker. Others applauded to points by opposing views or some students just listened. A list of who is wrong and who is right was on display. The list included atheists, homosexuals, Mormons, and even feminists. This did not sit well with Cassandra Harms. She associates herself with two on that list. This on this board it said who's wrong and it had Buddhist and feminist, which I am both a Buddhist and feminist. So I was kind of insulted and it, it, it took me by surprise. Not every student thought today's protest was negative. Many of the students said this event actually enhanced the university experience. He's getting people thinking. He's right. getting people motivated. And right. that's what college is about, you know? Exactly. Having opinions. It is, it is. Because it, um, it, yeah, it gets people thinking about what they really care about. It is just after 3 p.m. and the group of students surrounding grows and becomes louder. The mood of the gathering remained tense and provocative. This is Gamaliel Ortiz, the State Hornet newspaper.